Hello. There is a sci-fi roleplay coming up, and I'm really excited about it. But I wanted to let you know one thing. If you'd like to know where I got this cool earpiece, it's by a Dutch designer. His name is Chris van den Elsen. And this is his social media Instagram. So if you'd like to wear a similar headpiece, you can just buy it at his web shop. He also has like black ones. Really cool. Or all glass ones, which is really cool as well. Alright, so um, I thought if you might wonder what it is, then now you know. This is also from his web shop. Uh, this is actually a hairpin, but I've used it as a Hello. Welcome to our high-end real estate agency where we actually meet up with our clients. Did you have an appointment? Alright, let me check. Yep. So you are not a regular customer of us. You're new. Okay, good. No, that's absolutely perfect. Then I need to put you into the system. So, what is your name? your gender identification. Good. And a very important question. How much have you got to spend for a home? Yes, in bitcoins, of course. Alright. Seriously. How old are you? May I ask how you got that much money? Well, that are some great relatives to help out, I guess. Some people actually have to work for their money. Like being a real estate agent. That just made my day. Alright, well, um, that's good news for you. You can pretty much live wherever you want. That is my next question. Do you want to keep living in this region, so Earth, or do you want to live abroad? Yes, yeah, a different planet. Good. If I had money, I would leave this planet for sure. Who wants to live inside a dome, right? Freaking ancestors of us have just destroyed the whole thing. I would love to know what it's like to just walk outside, you know? But if you're poor like me, you're stuck at planet Earth. Not anything like politeness or something, you know. I just want to know what you're thinking. So I'm going to hook you up with um, 
linking your piece to mine so we're in sync. Good. You're fine with that, right? No, I will not be peeking inside all the little dirty corners of your mind. That's policy. I only need to know what you think about real estate. So it's around your left ear. Yep. Good. And that's good because um, then it's synced to mine. Let's just download what you have on your ear to mine. First things first, let's talk about planets. You want to live in a different planet, right? One where you can actually breathe the air outside. Wouldn't that be nice? So I have eight different livable planets. So planets that are actually um, good condition-wise. To live, breathe, walk around, do your thing. Right? And let's just go over them one by one. Do you know a lot about different planets? You don't. No, that's fine. I'll just explain it all. Let's start with the first one. The first planet I'll show you. You'll see the planet. Very good. So the first planet is Mars. Yes, it is um, definitely a red planet. So what do you think about Mars? Would you like to live there? Red's not your color, sure. Then let's move on to the next. Let's show you. This one is Enceladus. Yes, it's pretty um, white and blue. That's because there is a lot of ice on this planet. the moon of Saturn. And a lot of people that are tree huggers, well their ancestors were anyways, moved to that planet because it's really green. Mm -hmm. Do you like that? No, you don't. Alright. Let's 
move on then. The next one is Proxima B. Now this is more of a high-end planet. There is, um, it's very new, so there is a lot of activity going on as far as house building at this moment, but it's only for the, um, the very rich, which includes you, so you, I guess you could go there. Um, it's 4.2 light years away from Earth, so it's a little bit of a travel, but it's not too bad, right? So, can I, um, write this down as one of your favorites? I thought so. Yes, good. actually a series of three different planets that I'm going to show you. Let's start with the first Kepler planet, and this is Kepler 442b. Alright. Now, yes, there is a lot of radiation on this planet. That is why the homes are made extra sturdy and radiation free, but it's definitely um, advised to wear protective clothing when you walk outside. Not for you, no. Okay, I thought so. Alright, moving on. Kepler 452b. So it's a different Kepler um, planet. This one, as you can see, is very brown. That's because there's a lot of dirt. Do you like dirt? You don't? I don't think you would. Um, for your information, it's 1400 light years away from here, so it's a, a huge travel. But, if you like dirt, then it's worth it. You know, all right. Moving on. The next Kepler planet is Kepler 186F. This one is 500 light years away from Earth. So, do you like the planet? Too far away? Okay. Then I have one more planet to show you, and this is actually a series of planets, three planets to be exact. Good, and this is Trappist planets from one, two, three, and um, these are 39 light years away from Earth. And this planet series is very popular amongst us mortals. You know, people who don't have millions and millions of bitcoins on their bank account. Yes, too common for you. I thought so. Alright, so that leaves Proxima B to be your perfect planet. What do you think? I'll show you again. Sounds about right. Let's do that. Good. Alright, I will fill this in to the system. Proxima B. Four homes 
show you. There's only one livable district um, until this point. So they are definitely expanding, but as of right now, there's one district with a downtown and everything, yes. Alright, so I have four homes to show you. Let's get started. I will just move this around right here. Good. The first home. wise as you can tell this is a lake house so it's on the water surrounded with nature it's very modern I can show you different pictures centuries ago. I think it's very romantic. So old school, you know. What do you think? All right. You don't really like the whole retro theme, I get it. Let's take a look at the next house, which is the mountain house. So this house, as you can tell, us with the two houses, the lake house and the mountain house. Let's take a look at them again. So the lake house. Let's soak it in. Now they are both very Sure. So you cannot pick a wrong. 
house are based on that. And let's take a look at the mountain house again. Now this is special, right? Very different. Very unique. So if you should pick one, which one would it be? Well, the more expensive one is the lake house, actually. Because it's a location. District 1, Proxima B, will be my location. Very good. Alright, so congratulations. You have bought yourself a lake house. District 1, Proxima B, a planet 4.2 light years away from Earth. Now they are still finishing up with the construction so you can move in in about a few months I think two or three months you can travel there and move to your new location now what we like you to do is keep in contact with us, okay? good um, because we want to know if Proxima B is really a fun place to live at we want to have reviews, so let us know if you really enjoy it. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much for purchasing a home at our high-end real estate agency. Thank you. All right. Now I will take this one down. By our ear. Take it off really gently. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for hitting the like button, leaving a comment, and thank you for clicking on the notification bell. And a very special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Click on the link in the description box if you also want to support me on Patreon. Watch my YouTube videos on an app called Tingles. This way.